Well, it's still been cold. Tried going fishing recently, three different spots, three different spots in one afternoon, not even a bite. So either I suck really bad at fishing or um, I'm just not getting in the right places. So hopefully trying out a little spot tomorrow, but I don't know what that's gonna yield. So I'll probably clip a few things together and I also have a video that I wanna show with a couple of unboxings of some lures that I got. And we'll see how that one goes. Hopefully there'll be more content out there for you guys soon. I know it's been a while since I put anything out, but just hadn't been a lot going on. I picked up a part-time job and whew, it's, uh, things have been busy. So we'll um, get this one out and hopefully can get some new stuff out for you soon that actually has me catching some fish. Thanks. We'll see you guys, hopefully, out on the water. All right, this first part will be short with the unboxing. I got something from Salt Strong. They've been doing some free lures lately, and I got some of those, but they also um, had a discount on some lures. Maybe it'll show it in here, and I can tell you what I, what I paid, because I just can't remember to be on. Oh, yeah. It's not in there. It was, I could get, let's see how many I got in here. I can't remember now. I think I, I got a combination of these um, Slam Shadies. I think it's what these are called. And they just kind of threw the combo of them in here so that I could, I picked out the ones I wanted. And I think I only paid a couple of bucks. I got one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten lures. I think I got I think I got ten for a dollar. I'll have to double check. If I can find it and if I remember, I'll put it up on the screen. But these were I bought some of the just the white ones a while back. But I thought these looked pretty cool. We'll kind of throw these out real quick. The screen. You can see some of these are different, obviously. This is like a combo pack. I could pick could pick whichever combination of lures I wanted. So I got like two of each or something like that. And so I got a couple of paddle tails. Well, three paddle tails, technically. This is just a larger one. These are the smaller ones. I think these are two and a half or three inch pink. They've got the split, you know, in the bottom and the top. Nope, just on the bottom. My bad. And so, I just thought they were cool. And for the price, you couldn't beat it. I know they're probably trying to drum up business, and I'm more than happy to help <laughs> if I can get some lures cheap. I may try some of these here. Now, of course, Salt Strong, I think most of the stuff they make is if you're fishing, obviously, salt, brackish water, coastal type stuff. But I'm probably going to try some here and see if I can just get on some largemouth bass and oh wait, i got a different one here i didn't see this one in there so this is the same as the one on top here so i got two different colors no it's not it's the same as this one my bad so two paddle tails two different colors large paddle tail and then two So that's the first part just want to share that um, if they still got that deal going it's a great deal I don't know how long they were running it but it's obviously worth it you can see I still got pink here I just kind of throw them all out here these are the paddle tails all right so I just decided to take them all out of the bag it's getting way confusing so there we go. Those are all the fluke styles. So I got two of this green with red kind of gold flakes in it. And I got one of the, the white silver looking and one pink. So those are the flukes. And here are the other ones. Alright, so here's all the paddle tails. Two large paddle tails. I just got one of each color because I just want to try them out. I've got three pink, although these look like different color pink. I bet they're the same. That'll focus a little bit. But one of them's darker than the other two. 
So I don't know if that's just um, the way it came out and if it's supposed to be that dark. I don't remember ordering two different colors of pink. And then I've got the gold and then another white one that are just in different sizes. So I'm planning a trip. Um, it's pretty far out as far as time-wise, which is killing me because I'm, I really want to <laughs> really want to get out there. But I got a trip planned for end of April, early May to go back to Pensacola and do some fishing for the weekend on my birthday. And it's going to be, I know it's going to be amazing. But these are ones I'm going to, hopefully I'll still have a number of these. And then I'll have my other, um, the other ones that I got recently from Salt Strong when they were doing like a dollar for a bag. And I can't remember if it was the Paddle Tails or the Flukes. Um, it was on the other video. So if you didn't see that other unboxing, that's what it was on that one. So here we go. Uh, that's enough of the unboxings. Oh, wait, that's this unboxing. This took longer than I thought. That's this unboxing. I've got one more that is a, from Shop Carl's. So let's see that one. All right, so here's the Shop Carl's one. I probably don't have to tell you guys this, but obviously I'm not sponsored <laughs> by anybody. I'm new. And none of these are sponsored videos. These are just lures I want to try and see what they're like. And I just want to show them in case you guys see something that you like, all right? No sponsorships, promise. Not yet. As soon as I get one, you guys will know it for sure. Wow, I get a crossword puzzle this time from Carl. See how that looks. <laughs> New 2022 calendar. Excellent. I usually put that up in my garage. All right, so here we go. This is this was not a mystery tackle box. This was stuff I ordered that I just wanted to try. That was some different stuff that I thought was cool and some stuff I needed to kind of re-up on. These, these blockheads, the reason I like these, or these, this style, when I, I just started fishing with um, Ned Rigs recently, and I always get hung up, maybe everybody else does, but I get hung up a lot on rocks and other things, and I get kind of frustrated with that, and so I found that if I buy, let me open these all the way up, if I buy an offset, at least that's what I'm calling it. Let me put that here. Like an offset jig head or the offset hook, basically. It's got the little dog leg in it. That I can rig up my Ned rig um, weedless and then hopefully rockless. And I really like these. They're kind of a little flat on the top and they're flat here, which is cool because it bumps right up into it. And these are good for other stuff, obviously, too. But these are, this is the blockhead. Um, it's offset. That's what they're calling it. Z-lock shoulder. There's an eighth of an ounce, and is a. I think that's a one aught, or is that a one? I think that's considered a number one aught. I have to redo my schooling and find out what that is. So that's what those are, and then I got another set of them. I think they're just a different size. Yeah. So same thing, same exact ones, except these are a sixteenth of an ounce for lighter more finesse type fishing or if I'm using just some, you know, some smaller gear. These just looked cool. It's almost like a little uh, mosquito looking kind of thing, but they're calling it, it's called a plankton. So if I'm just trying to get something to bite, this is what I'm hoping will work. Euro tackle, I've never heard of them. Again, no sponsorships in this video. And, but it's called a little plankton, a little tin pack. So I had to make sure I got the right size hooks for that. And these I was just updating. I mean, I was just getting more. I've run out. I love these exopods from, from Biospawn. This is one of my favorite colors just with any soft plastics for me is this blue and black or a deep purple or more of a deep blue. I love these. I love that color. And I just grabbed a bunch of them because I know I'm going to use them. I use them for trailers. I use them. Um, I'll use them with with these and I, I use them for all kinds of stuff so oh, here's the oh I think these were on sale I think these were like a big sale and that's why I got them I'm trying to remember why I bought actually three packs of these that's a good question I'll have to look at my receipt okay found my receipt this was the deal these were all marked down to a dollar 
per box or per container, whatever you want to call it. These are three and a half inch. If you've got the BioSense, it's a seven pack. So I got 21 of these for $3, which that can't be beat. That was why I think they were all the same color. I had to pick the same color if I remember right. But that's what they were. They are a buck a piece. This was right around, it was just under $3 for the little um, plankton things. Each pack of the hooks was almost $4. They were like $3.85. But I'm a Carl's member, which those if, if you fish a lot and you buy a lot of lures, again, no sponsorships. I highly recommend becoming a member of Carl's. It's I think it was 30 bucks for a year or something when I got it a few years ago. And I've been a member for a while. And it's worth it because I get I get free shipping on all these. I get major discounts. A lot of this stuff goes on sale. Again, these I think usually run between at least at least around five bucks, maybe more per pack, and I got them all for a dollar. So just getting three packs of these, you know, I saved at least ten bucks on all those. And then I get free shipping if there's sales, if there's discounts, all that kind of stuff going on. I get all that kind of stuff on sale. So I'd highly recommend that if you if you buy a lot of lures. Sometimes you got to wait for the shipping. Obviously, it's not overnight. It's not even a three-day. Not a part of their fault. But this shipment that came in with these in it, it took over a week. And I think it was close to 10 days almost. And I kept getting, but it wasn't them. It sat in Smyrna, which is just outside of Nashville. It sat at the Smyrna Post Office. Postal, I don't know how, oops, my bad. It sat out there. I don't know how these are shipped. This is USPS or who? Yeah, this is so. This is US mail. Although I ship a lot of other stuff on with on my eBay store that I have, but this is the only time from Carl's that I've had an issue with shipping. And again, not their fault. It sat in Smyrna, I think, three or four days, which was ridiculous. And even though it wasn't their fault, they actually gave me a credit onto my account to to of course buy more lures. But I thought that was super cool. They didn't ask any questions about it. I just said, you know, hey, just letting you guys know that it took a long time for me to get these. I even told them I know it's not your fault because I was tracking it and I knew it wasn't their fault. And they still gave me like a $10 credit on my account. So you can't beat the service from them. I got responses right away. Um, I think it's a guy named Brian maybe that like responded to me like two or three times when I sent emails back and forth. So get on this man get on these these guys are great they have good stuff and they're they got great customer service so i'm gonna finish this up and i'll add some fishing videos hopefully on to this so it's not just an unboxing and we'll see how it ends up i may combine it with some fishing videos of me fishing but not catching <laughs> because that happens and i'm not just gonna show you guys when i catch a lot of fish or big fish I'll show you when I don't catch fish. Uh, it would be a little boring, so I won't put a lot of that on there. But enjoy. Again, check them out. Great deals all the time. And great ideas for gift. My fishing buddy that I fished with David out in um, East Tennessee when we went and fished the Tennessee River. Um, that one, um, again, that's been somehow my best viewed video. I don't, I don't know exactly why other than maybe people really love the Tennessee River. And I fished... I did, only caught one fish the whole trip, and I've got now over 200 and something views, probably closer to almost 300 views on that one video, and I would I would love to keep all these moving that way. I don't know what the secret was on that one. If anybody's got ideas, let me know, because I, I don't know. I really don't. Not I'm new to filming. I am new to putting out these videos and editing, which is a whole other thing. I may do a editing video at some point just to show my struggles so if anybody's wanting to jump in if i can do it you can do it there's no doubt about that well let's end this up appreciate y'all watching and there may be other intros there may be other endings that you see on this keep watching help help me get some more subscriptions i'd love to be able to get up to 100 subscribers by the end of this year i know it's maybe a small goal in some people's eyes but for me that'd be a big deal if i could get at least 100 subscribers Get this content out content out for you guys. I'll see you later. Thank you. All right, I'm out here at beautiful Centennial Park. Again, this is where I caught that slab bluegill a while back, but I'm in a different location. There's a little island 
kind of real close that I can actually cast to. And I'm using my little bitty, um, ah yeah, my little telescopic rod and reel, telescopic rod and reel that I got a while back. I haven't caught anything off of yet, so we're going to give it a shot and see how she goes. So here it is. This is the one I showed in the other video in my unboxing. It's got a nice long handle on the back. Cool little rod and reel. Cost me 15 bucks, so let's see if she can catch us uh, another good bluegill. Look at that. What's up, squirrels? Y'all having a good day? Y'all is, and it is. <laughs> it is. It is cold out here. Um, I wish I had my other hat to wear, but, you know, didn't plan ahead. Didn't know if I was going to be able to get out here or not, and it is frigid, and of course I'm in the shade and the wind is blowing. Perfect combination of what you don't want when you're out here trying to fish and, um, man, oh my gosh, it is frigid. What up, squirrel? He's trying to get my Bobby Garland. I'm going to have to get the Bobby Garland away from the squirrel. Here we go. Let's see what we got down here. So like I said, I haven't caught anything off of this rod yet. I have no idea what anything large, small feels like with it. So I'm hoping to at least get a little something. Whew, it is cold. No idea if anything's gonna bite. Obviously there's fish in here because I've caught them out of here before, but I haven't caught anything off the Bobby Garland here. The little slab bluegill I caught was off a little crankbait. I may have to put that on, just get maybe a little deeper. I don't know where they're holding up. I'm hoping they're in this sun. You can see that there's some sun across from me here that maybe they're hanging right around this structure. I'm worried about the trees up above me and I hit a branch laying on the ground. Let's try this again. Alright y'all, just to show you how cold it is. I didn't, I've never had this happen to me before because I've never fished when it's this cold. Check this out. This I was wondering why I couldn't reel in my line. There's ice. There's ice on the, it was on the tip of my line. It's still here. There's still more up here. Right there. That is crazy. I've never had that happen. Sheesh. All right, here we go. Let's see how long it takes to, oh, it's still in there. It's, it's in all my guides. Sheesh. So if anybody out there knows how to keep that from happening, you know, besides actually not fishing when it's freaking freezing outside, y'all let me know. And I'm um, hung up because I was trying to get ice off my line. All right, one more cast here and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the other side. Maybe my line will thaw out.